not look like much, but all I am, I give to you, oh God. I might not look like much, but all I am and all I have, I give to you, oh God. to you, O oh God. I give it to you, O oh God. I give to you, O oh God. It may not look like much, but all I am I give. All I am, I give, I give to you, oh God. It may not look like much, but all I am, I give. And all I have, I give to you, oh God, to you, oh God. to you, oh God. I give to you, oh God. I give to you, oh upon me for I care for you and I care for you oh don't you know that all your fountains are in me and I have everything you need just keep 
coming back to me for those who call upon my name they will not be put to shame just keep coming back to me cause all your fountains are in me and I have everything you need just keep coming back to me and those who call upon my name oh they not be put to shame just keep coming back to me just keep coming back to me in your weariness just keep coming back to me I am all you need, I am all you need, so come to me if you're weary, and I'll give you rest, I'll give you rest, for my yoke is so easy. My burden is less, my burden is less. Just cast all your cares on me, for I care for you, and I care for you. Won't you cast all your cares on me? I care for you, I care for you, cause all your fountains are in me, and I have everything you need, just keep coming back to me, for those who call upon my name. They will not be put to shame Just keep coming back to me Cause all your fountains are in me And I have everything you need Just keep coming back to me For those who call upon my name they will not be put to shame just keep coming back to me for all you need just keep coming back just keep coming back for the strength you need for the wisdom you need just keep coming back just keep coming back to me for the encouragement you need for the hope you need just keep coming back just keep coming back to me all your fountains are in me all your fountains are in me just keep coming back oh just keep coming back to me just keep coming back to me i have all you need i have all you need Just keep coming back, just keep coming back to me, do not forget I'm all you need, do not forget I'm all you need, do not forget I'm all you need. not forget I'm all you need oh, 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 o
every need, every provision. Oh, just keep coming back. Oh, just keep coming back to me. Just keep coming back to me. Oh, I am everything. Just keep coming back to me. I long to be your everything. Won't you come to me and let me be your everything? Your strength and your shield. Oh, your defense and your refuge. I long to be your everything. Just keep coming back, just keep coming back to me, just keep coming back to me, just keep coming back to me, I long to be your everything, oh I long to be your everything, just keep coming back to me. Just keep coming back to me. Just keep coming back to me. In your time of need, I'll be your everything. I'll be your everything. I'll be your everything. Oh, I am your poor. I am your defense, I am your sustenance, I am your reward. Oh, do not forget that I am all you need, I am all you need, I am all you need. Oh, do not forget in seasons of lack and abundance, that I am everything you need oh, I am everything you need Just keep coming back Keep coming back to that first love Just keep coming back to that place Oh, where I am your everything Oh, where I am your everything coming back to me in the first love just keep coming back to me just keep coming back to me cause all your fountains are in me I have everything you need just keep coming back to me for those who call upon my name, they will not be put to shame. Just keep coming back to me, cause all your fountains are in me. I have everything you need. Just 
just keep coming back to me for those who call upon my name they will not be put to shame just keep coming back to me just keep coming back coming back to me for your closeness is all I desire your closeness is all I desire you captivated my heart my sister my bride oh your closeness is all I need it's all I require, you're captivated my heart. You've captivated my heart with just one glance. With just one movement of your heart. You've captivated my heart, my sister, my bride. Your closeness is all I require. Your closeness is all I require. Captivated my heart. You captivated my heart. I'll keep singing this old. over you until the voice of the accuser is drowned out in my love in my love cause all you are is enough and your affections are enough your closeness is all I desire just keep coming back captivated my heart you've captivated my heart i'll sing this over and over again over you and till you believe the words that i sing until you believe the song i've been singing over you over and over again i knew you in your mother's womb all your ways are not hidden from me you've captivated my heart you've captivated my heart I know you and I see you I know you and I've searched your heart just keep coming back to me I knew you in your mother's womb before one of your days came to be I knew even then I knew you, you've captivated my heart, you captivated my heart, you captivated my heart, nothing the enemy could do could separate us now, nor angels, nor demons, nor life, nor death. Nothing in all creation could separate you from my love. Nothing you do and nothing you believe could take me away, could tear me away from you. Nothing you do, nothing you do could take me away, could tear me away. From my beloved, you've captivated my heart. You've captivated my heart. 
with just one glance, with just one movement of your heart. You captivated my heart, my sister, my bride. You captivated my heart. is yours my heart is yours my beloved my heart is yours my heart is yours my beloved you're the apple of my eyes thoughts are for you, my goodness for you, you've captivated my heart, you've captivated my heart, you've captivated Every time you choose to turn to me, 
to turn to me and move my heart every time you gave something up just to be with me and move my heart and move my heart and move my heart every time you chose me above all the rest every time chose me above the rest and move my heart and move my heart all the prayers you prayed all the songs that you sung in that secret place and move my heart and move my heart oh you've captured my heart Captured my heart. Do you know how you've caught my eye in the secret place where you gave it all and you chose to?
chosen the better portion what will not be taken from you what will not be taken from you oh you've chosen the better portion every time you choose to be with me every time you choose to trust me once again you've chosen the better portion chosen the better portion and it's moved my heart oh it's moved my heart oh it's moved my heart it's filled my house with the fragrance of oil poured out of oil poured out it's filled my house with the fragrance of worship oh it's moved my heart where the fragrance of worship every time you break your worship at my feet it's filled my house with the fragrance of worship and it's moved my heart it's moved my heart it's moved my heart it's moved my heart has gone unnoticed no prayer has gone unheard oh how you've moved my heart in the secret place how you've moved my heart in the secret place the secret place where you chose to
has been the longest road It just when my hallelujah was tired You give me a new song Now I'm letting go I'm letting go I still get scared sometimes But perfect love comes rushing in And all the lies that screamed inside They go silent The moment you begin Now I'm
how you have loved me oh, if I lived a thousand lifetimes and wrote a song for every day so there would be no way to say how you have loved me and if I lived a thousand lifetimes and wrote a song for every day so there would be no way to say how you have loved me how you love me oh how you poured your love over me without holding back how you poured your love over me without holding back how you show me your kindness and your mercy how you allow your goodness and mercy to follow me all the days of my life all the days
totally undone With your arms around me Fear was no match for your love Now you want me Jesus, oh you
as I look upon you, Lord, and believe, and now I know, and I have seen your glory that cannot be unseen, and I am changed, changing still as I. But you shall be called the priests of the Lord. They shall speak of you as the ministers of our God. You shall eat the wealth of the nations, and in their glory you shall boast. Instead of your shame, there shall be a double portion. Instead of dishonor, they shall rejoice in in their lot. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess a double portion. They shall have everlasting joy. 
For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrong. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their offspring shall be known among the nations, and their descendants in the midst of the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge them, that they are an offspring that the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself like a priest with a beautiful headdress, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its sprouts, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to sprout up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to sprout up before all the nations. Isaiah 61, verses 5 through 6. Strangers shall stand and tend your flocks. Foreigners shall be your plowmen and vine dressers. But you shall be called the priests of the Lord. They shall speak of you as the ministers of our God. You shall eat the wealth of the nations, and in their glory you shall boast. Lord, we thank you for the prosperity and the favor that we are able to enjoy as children of your kingdom. You promise us victory and growth. You give us honor as your ministers. And while the world may look and they may mock down, they may mock the ministers of the Lord, you bestow honor and glory. You promise increase in dominion to the point of overflow, to the point where there's so much goodness to cultivate that more and more people will come into the fold of knowing you. For we too were strangers, we too were foreigners as Gentiles when you chose Israel to be your nation and your people. But Jesus, you made a way for everyone, Jew and Gentile alike, to commune with the Father and to be in your presence. And you made a way for us to come into your dominion and work the land, to partake in this process and to contribute to the fruitfulness of your kingdom. And Lord, we know that in the same way, you desire for us to partner with the foreigner, the one who doesn't yet know you, that we would all benefit and reap from the kind of favor that you show us. You are a God who loves to bless those who bless your people. Give us not just a heart to gain favor and prosperity, to ask for a transfer of wealth, but make us ones who desire to see everyone who partners with us truly blessed not just able to build up, but also partake in the praise and the fruit that will rise up from it later. You set us apart to serve you and to be blessed in doing so. And so we will boast in your glory and your favor, not in our own doing. Oh, once we were strangers, once we were far from you, Upon your beauty, to 
look upon your glory. We've been set apart, been set apart. Set apart to go beyond the veil and see you in your glory, to see you in your glory. We who were once far off are now brought in to your presence, brought into the knowledge of you, God. Take us beyond the veil that we would see your glory, God. See your glory, God. For you've taken us beyond the veil through the blood of the Lamb that we would see your glory. dishonor they shall rejoice in their lot therefore in their land they shall possess a double portion they shall have everlasting joy for I the Lord love justice I hate robbery and wrong I will faithfully give them their recompense and I will make an everlasting covenant with them Lord we praise you for the double blessing and the double portion that we have in you and we get to enjoy both the fruit of our own labor, but also of those before and beside us. And we've been both spared from death in your great mercy and given immeasurable abundance in your great grace. These are the kinds of double portions that you invite your children into. And we want to fully experience this. We want to enjoy our full inheritance in you. you give us greater revelation of what we have access to that we may ask for it, receive it, that we may bring others into the same revelation. We want this everlasting joy that is found in your presence. We want to trade our dishonor and our shame for your favor and your righteousness. Thank you, Jesus, for a double portion that makes no sense, but that is such a representation of the kind of Father we have. You don't withhold blessings from us. We rejoice with sincerity in your kindness your goodness, your faithfulness. We rejoice in how far you've brought us and we rejoice in advance for the greater glories that you've promised to take us into. Thank you, Father, for your covenantal love. Thank you, Lord. You're the lifter of my head. You're the lifter of my head. You're the lifter of my the lifter of my head, the lifter of my head, oh, you take my shame and you give me a double portion. 
is this? What love is this? That you take my shame and you give me a double portion. Oh, what love is this? Oh, what love is this? Taking all my shame and my guilt, no shame to take it by dishonor. generational faith. Give us greater faith and cause us to rejoice as we realize what it means to be clothed in 
garments of salvation and righteousness. We are made new. We are crowned with your glory. We don't have to earn these garments. We simply wear them because they've been bought for us with the blood of Jesus. And Lord, when our words and our actions don't match up with this royalty that we are, you're so good to simply remind us what glory you've clothed us with. And you don't leave us in condemnation, but you clothe us in honor and righteousness, God.
Jesus exalted. We want to see our own testimonies multiplied. We want more people to experience the kind of blessing and the freedom that we have in knowing you, God. Oh, how you desire, how you desire to see your righteousness, to see your glory covering the earth like the waters the sea. How you long to see, how you long to see your righteousness and your glory covering the earth like waters of sea, like waters of sea, the whole earth will be filled with your glory, like waters of sea. Like waters of sea, the whole earth will be filled with your glory. Like waters of sea, like waters of sea, the whole earth will be filled with your glory. Like waters of sea, like waters of sea. whole earth will be filled with your glory on the day is coming when every tribe and tongue will come to you O oh God with praises on their lips for the day is coming when you'll have a harvest of worshipers you'll have a harvest from all the nations Righteousness will sprout up from all the nations. Oh, there will be in every tribe and glory tongue. will be seen. Oh, Your name will be known. Like waters to sea, oh, like waters of sea, like waters of sea. The whole earth will be filled with Your glory. The whole earth will be filled with Your glory, God. be filled with your glory, with your glory, like waters over the sea, oh, the whole earth will be filled with your glory, filled with your glory, Lord, you're so good, you're so kind, and you're so faithful to us. You don't miss a single detail. You call us to look at the details of your blessings and also the bigger picture. Allow us to be in tune with you, God. Allow us to have a genuine, heartfelt praise that flows out of us, that we may bring you glory, King Jesus, that we may see your praise and righteousness in the nations. The more we read your word, the more we meditate, the more we allow your truth to wash over us, the more we are equipped to walk in true righteousness with the anointing of intimacy. God, we just thank you for giving us access to your blessings.
Father, you've instilled in us your worth and you've made us new by the blood of Jesus. You see us not as the world does, but you love us with the same perfect love that you have for Jesus and the Holy Spirit and unbroken fellowship. Lord, we ask for this love and worth to be made known to your children, your church in Korea. Give us as individuals and as a church a greater sense of who we are as your sons and daughters. Allow us to put our worth in things above, in things eternal, that we may not be distracted or swayed by the temporal things. We know that all else will fade away, and what matters is love. What remains in the end is love. Would you keep us balanced and whole in our vision, that we can be both nearsighted and farsighted, Establish your church in Korea as the bride of Christ. Establish us as a bride who waits with pure longing and passion, a yearning to see her groom and king return in glory. Establish us as an army of intercessors who know your word and who do not compromise your word. God, we know that you've already poured out so much grace on the church in Korea to pray, to be intercessors who pray with zeal and fervor. But we ask for more, God. We pray against every temptation and scheme of the enemy to tear down the church. And we pray protection and immunity against lust, immorality, corruption, and division. We trust in the keeping power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we trust that you're giving us more of your heart and that this understanding of the Father's heart will equip and propel us to speak life and worth over others. Let your heart, let your heart, God, be the lens through which we view ourselves, the way we view the world. Let's pray. to worship you in all that we do, to love you and to love people, to live unto the return of Christ. You've purposed us to be your image bearers and agents of reconciliation. We thank you for the specific callings that you've given so many of us to know how to live this out and what to focus on in this season. We pray that you would continue to do this, reveal and release purpose upon your people in Korea. Strengthen in us, in both the native Koreans and in the expats, our purpose. Strengthen our purpose that we would know the why and the how of living in Korea at this hour. That we would have focus in living out this purpose in the daily and in the bigger picture. 
Lord, if there's any aimlessness or hopelessness, we command it to leave in Jesus' name. And we pray for a boldness and a joy to take its place. We pray for a joy of partnering with you and living with divine purpose. God, we want to hear more testimonies of believers living out their purpose with courage and seeing the fruit of it. We want to hear about more believers being set free from old mindsets and yokes that made them feel unusable to now being renewed by your spirit and using their gifts to bless others, God. We ask for purpose in your church. Let's pray. would be made loud and clear through godly leaders who not only preach but who live out the full counsel of scripture we pray that you would equip the saints from pastors and leaders to church members all throughout korea that you would inspire a fear of the lord we want to be able to discern your voice apart from the others we want to then obey your voice not because it's just the right thing to do but because we know the person of jesus and we know that there's no one else we would rather follow. Would you grip our hearts with a greater desire to know and convey your truth? Give your church an ability to chew on the word and to healthily question and wrestle with what we hear so that each saint is equipped on his or her own. Lord, you've made a way for each and every one of us to have full access to your voice. So would you give us confidence in hearing you we pray that as we get more and more in tune with what you're saying and with who you are, God, that we will stand firm as a voice of truth within our respective jobs, our social circles, our ministries, and our spheres of influence. God, there are so many sheep who are lost and seeking the voice of a good shepherd. Would you use us as your church, as your children, to accurately represent you and your voice, God?
God, that God, we ask that you would unite us as believers in Korea through worship and through prayer and doctrinal and method, methodological differences aside, God. We know that you have made us to exalt you, to worship you, to seek your face, Lord. So would you bring us together and as we worship you together, seeking the one true living God, would you pour out a grace for unity? Speak to us each individually the same word that we can then come together and confirm with each other, knowing that we hear the same voice, the same spirit. We have the same Father, and you are undivided, Lord, in your desires. And we declare unity rising amongst the expat believers and amongst the native Korean church. Beyond that, we pray for unity between those two churches, God, that we are one, ultimately that we are one body, language and cultural barriers aside we know that again your spirit transcends all understanding and all barriers the language of the spirit and the moves of god are universal and so we pray that your spirit continues to break down the walls that have kept us back in fear that have kept us back in blindness to one another and we pray that you would even pick out and raise up key people to be cultural and spiritual bridges to bring us together as family would you mark them with a spirit of reconciliation and a hunger for unified worship lord would you soften our hearts knit us together in love and in compassion give us empathy and an ability to stop and to listen to our brothers and sisters that we would be quick to listen and slow to speak that we would be quick to understand other stories we need your heart god we need your spirit though to take care of each other in this way lord so would you come holy spirit and empower us let's pray
your bride here and you desire that we continue to say yes to you would you give us sensitive spirits and awaken us to your specific desires for this nation and for each other let us be aware of the devil's tactics the tactics but above that aware of your truth and your goodness make us so sure of your voice and so sure of your word that we can effectively shepherd those around us and invite people into an understanding of you, that we would invite people to the one big family that is the body of Christ. Expand our vision, expand our understanding, and give us perspective to see that although the stretching may be uncomfortable for us right now, that it's all for the sake of love and for the sake of your glory, God. So we speak grace and unity and love over your church in this nation. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. forgotten you unwind me till I'm totally undone with your arms around me fear was no match for your love now you've won me and if I lived a thousand lifetimes and wrote a song for every day so there would be no way to say how you have loved me and if i lived a thousand lifetimes and wrote a song for every day so there would be no way to say how you have loved me father we thank you for everything that you continue to cement lord god in our hearts and in our spirit understanding of who you are and who we are in you understanding of our worth understanding of what our worship and our devotion our affections mean to you I thank you Father that you're slowly shepherding our hearts so God into the place of believing that you're a God who loves to see your people coming to you you love to see closeness you love to see us partnering with the things that are on your heart we thank you Father for all these things we trust in your ability, Lord God, to shepherd us through our resistance, shepherd us through our fears, shepherd us through our pride. You're a God who's able to do all these things and more. We trust in your ability to do these things. We thank you, God. We lift you up until we see that day when the knowledge of God covers over the, uh, over the earth like waters over the sea. Until then, Lord God, we'll continue to lift you up. We'll continue to trust in you. We'll continue to believe that you're a God who will bring about, Lord God, a greater glory than we have seen before. We thank you, God, for all these things. We love you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. Hopefully you are blessed uh, to spend time with the Lord. Uh, we hope that you continue also to just cultivate intimacy, cultivate uh, your personal relationship with the Lord, even outside of uh, our K1 watches. We'll see you once again next week. We also have a watch tomorrow evening, Thursday evening at 8 p.m. So I encourage you to join us if you have the time. Otherwise, we'll see you once again next week. Have a wonderful rest of the day.